Hey guys, Tim from Artillery Fishing. Got my father with me here today. And we're gonna go over the Craftsman R110. One more. 30 inch blade, baby. Let's do it. Today, we're gonna be going over this Craftsman R110. 30 inch blade, riding lawnmower. Great budget lawnmower. You can buy it at Lowe's, other retailers. And today we wanna do a good overview and see if this lawnmower is actually worth the money that you wanna pay for it. No better person to talk about it than my father, Ed, who's gonna go ahead and give us an overview after using it the past few months. Okay, the first thing I'd like to show you is that the seat is adjustable. So whether you're big or small, long leg, short leg, put the seat up and underneath here, there's three bolts you loosen them and slide it forward or backward depending on your height until you find what's comfortable for you retight and then you're done with that does the seat also have a kill switch on it in case you get off is that what this is right here yes okay so a kill switch in case you got to pop off of it next thing of course you got your handy cup holder so if you're cutting a lot of grass and you want to be hydrated then you want to do that Take your water with you. Okay, we'll get around here to the front. This is where all the, the gears are. In the middle you have neutral, to the right you have reverse, and to the left you have forward. So that this moves up and down, forward, backwards, it's just on the spring. Yeah, and you found with this plastic material, it's not too bad moving it around it at all. It flexes. It flexes, yeah. that's good. Uh, and this okay. it looks like the gas gauge is right here. It shows that's your- gas gauge, that's true, yeah. So you can oh, see how okay. much gas you got in there. I think we're full. Okay, if you come around to the other side, this, this is your uh, motion for, go, uh, for your cutting. This will raise and lower your cutter, just like this. Or it goes all the way down to number one is your lowest. Number two, number three, four, and this is number five. So that's your highest. So it looks like right here, we got the different speeds here. So is this the speed of the lawnmower? How fast it goes? Uh, this is the engine speed. Oh, the engine speed, okay. <clears throat> this one is engages the blade. Oh, for the blade engage. So that engages the blade. And this is the height of the blade. Mm -hmm. And this is the gauge of the blade. You have to engage the brake, okay? Start, press down. Okay, this is, this is strictly your speech for going forward. As fast as you want to go, you just move it faster, faster. It goes all the way up to number six. Oh, okay, so I imagine if you wanted to start it at six, though, you probably get a pretty big jerk yeah, right off the do, move. You so you want to start off wanna, at one? If you want to get from one place to another real quick, it's not for cutting grass. Okay. If you're cutting grass, you want to be down here at between two and three. Okay, otherwise you probably get a bad cut. Right. It All depends right. on how high the grass is. You want to go slower, obviously, you put in one. If the grass is medium cut, you can go to two or three, and they're marked. It's hard to see, but they're marked number four and five. That's just for going from one place to another quickly. So how about these tires here? How do these tires seem to be holding up the few months that you've been using it? Very good. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the turning ratio? Turning ratio is pretty good. We can demonstrate that as we get going. All right. As you've been using this, any issues that you have found good, bad? You don't want to turn real sharp if you're going real fast. It won't turn real sharp? Well, it will, but you it kind of doesn't bounce back. You, okay. know, you have to be the stirrer. Okay, so a lot of manpower kind of goes in with the steering right. so you're what 510 right right so how's how's the leg room and everything feel well, for me it's fine depending on your height like we said we sh showed you the seat adjustment mm -hmm. move it backward or forward depending on for me it's just fine all right factory set nice 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 it can be adjusted for taller people what about uh the engine any uh anything you had to do when you first got it you have to change the oil or no, did it come no, with oil it come fully ready to go 
had oil in it, just had to add uh, a little more gas. So in the few months that you've had it, any maintenance that you've had to do with it that you've seen was necessary? So far, I haven't had to do anything. Oh, that's good, it's perfect. Starter then. and go and... Outstanding. So this being a budget type lawnmower, there has to be some downfalls to it. I'm sure it's not all sunshines and uh, butterflies and whatnot. That's right. So, so what, did, what did we find out here with these gears? Everything everything works fine. It's just it's just a probably a bottom line riding lawnmower. This is as tight as it'll go. See this 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 screw is tightened. This just this just has flexibility. That's all. No, it's got a little bit of looseness. Yeah, and that's that's, th that's rigid. This is very rigid. And that's for engaging the lawnmower, correct? That's right. Yep. And then what about here for this, the this is the height the height for the blade How does that work with the gears here? Yeah, very good very sturdy got a good spring on it. Okay, and this looks like no, Decently it, strong metal, so it shouldn't it's nothing too rinky-dink at least No issues with that. Yeah, this is a bottom line affordable rider. We can't expect it to be the absolute not best a Very heavy duty cutting, but it will do the job. Mm -hmm. I mean it can cut high grass or low grass. It's very comfortable to sit on. The uh, steering radius is very good because you just have to understand that in this price point, you're not going to get the, you're not going to get, you know, everything as a heavy duty professional mower. You know, I wouldn't recommend this for a professional, someone who wants to cut grass for a living. You definitely have to move up to the next level to do that. Or I would recommend it because there are, there are things that aren't quite as, heavy duty on here as they got, would be on a, on a better price mall. All right, well enough of us talking about it. Let's see some demonstration. If you had to recommend this lawnmower, what audience do you think would this lawnmower best suit? Well, I would think you would just, uh, you know, if you have them, you need a wider cut than you do with a standard push mower, or obviously would be what you need. It save you a lot of energy, but it can do the job. So it depends. If you have a lot of trimming to do, of course you want to use your smaller mower, you know, to get around trees, signs, and etc. So. so you'd probably recommend this for lawns maybe around an acre or so? Yeah, no more than an acre. I would say you want to get maybe a bigger mower. Something bigger than the 30 inch blade. Something bigger than the 30 inch blade. Because you have to overlap, obviously, as you go over the grass. And with the turning radius, so you did notice that you had to use your push more to get around those trees a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, it's, it doesn't have a very tight, it, you know, pretty tight for an open area, but if you have to trim around trees and stuff, you want to use your, you definitely want to use a smaller mower do your trimming or your weed lift. Okay, so overall, we got a nice little demonstration of what this lawnmower could actually do. A couple positives to take away. One, it's affordable. You can't deny the price. How much did it cost you around? $1,100. About $1,100, $1,200. Depending on where you're from, it's probably gonna change the price a little bit. But it's a very affordable riding lawnmower. It also is Craftsman. Craftsman's got that good reputation of being decently reliable. And if they're not so reliable, usually they end up replacing their products unless Craftsman's changed over the last couple of years and I haven't heard about it. Other thing, other positives that we've noticed, so you got plenty of leg room up here. You don't have, any, you have to worry about your knees bumping into anything, it seems like, unless you're an extra, extra, extra large type of person and get your knees bumping maybe the handle or something. One downfall we did notice is that the lawnmower itself, when you go in reverse, the blades will not engage, but that's okay, there's an easy fix for that. There's a little kill switch that you can find underneath here and all you got to do is unplug that kill switch and your blades will be able to work going backwards so overall first impressions some things that we found out when we recently got this lawnmower was one i think it suits the need 
for somebody with a smaller yard and acre size is what we were saying. Yeah, at the biggest. Or acre at the biggest. It's a good starter lawnmower if you need an affordable option for something. For a rider. For a rider. The only thing we really weren't able to test out over here was the test of time. Who knows how long this lawnmower is going to last, but rest assured we will update you and let you know if this lawnmower has any sudden problem. But like I said, you use it, what, about two, three times a week? Maybe. Once a week. Once a week. About once a week. Four, three, four times a month. If anything updates, we'll make sure we update you on it. Artillery fishing.